What I was interested in is um, the development that happens in a city when it's chosen for the Olympics. And what I like is the Olympic form in the sense of it's, it's a continuous event over many, many years. It's a sort of form of serial production. It's every four years or every two years, however way you see it. And it continually unfolds and it sort of links every city to another city. So I see it as a parallel form to the way I'm thinking about my work. I'm not really interested in the Olympics. It's more of the structure of this hyper-capitalist event happening throughout the world, no matter what politically is happening, aside from a few moments where there have been political staged things occurring. But it, it's, it's, it's seemingly apolitical and it sort of continues and unfolds. I see the Olympics as like a weird phantom structure that if you thought about how an artist would function, well, I'm looking to be satisfied, so I don't think I'm looking for sort of similarities so much. You know, I'm probably looking for difference more then. But, of course, there are these bridges that you see. You know, even if you're in, um, for instance, a great example is when I was focusing on uh, Washington, D.C., and I shot the Capitol film and was doing that series of paintings, you might say, what does that have anything to do with Las Vegas? Well, it does. Well, one, it's, it's, it's another American city. Two. Um, the way L'Enfant designed Washington, D.C. was a strip mm -hmm. with various sort of experiences as you have them down that strip. It's not that unsimilar to Vegas, you know, but I mean, there's lots of other reasons why I was interested in Vegas in terms of distraction, in terms of the way light is used. This is something I think about with the paintings a lot, which is how light, not just color, but how light is used as a lure, how light is used to entice one's movement of, or one's behavior. And that's sort of how I'm trying to use color in the paintings.